My name is Chris Shepard. I've worked on wildlife trade issues for close to 30 years. Uh, much of my career was in Southeast Asia, which is a, a region uh, where a lot of wildlife comes from that enters the illegal trade. And I was also a, a, a growing consumer of wildlife coming from other parts of the world. Um, I worked for an organization in Southeast Asia for over 20 years. Five years ago, six years ago, I set up uh, the Monitor Conservation Research Society. Monitor. Um, with the main objective of looking at species that no one else is looking at and issues that no one else is looking at. We, we look a lot at the reptile trade and as Sunny mentioned, the songbird trade, which is rapidly growing um, and a rapidly growing threat to, to many species. And it's not just in Southeast Asia or somewhere far away from us here in North America, it's happening right here. Um, and as Sunny mentioned, this is the first uh, partnership of its kind here and we're really excited about this. Um, not only because this is going to give us an opportunity to put in place a lot more uh, evidence-based projects, but it's going to give us an opportunity to not only look at the source countries anymore, but start looking at some of the consumer countries. North America is the biggest consumer of a lot of species in trade. Um, a lot of the species are highly threatened and together I think we can go do something about this. So thank you very much. Always great to be here at Lincoln Park Zoo, one of the world's leading zoological facilities, and, a, and an excellent example of what modern and accredited zoos and aquariums are, are all about. So a big thanks to all the partners who made this exhibit possible, particularly Lincoln Park Zoo and the O'Hare International Airport and the Chicago Department of Aviation. With partnerships like those that we're talking about today, we can envision a world where people use their collective consumer power to help end illegal wildlife trade. Now, I'd like to talk specifically about how Lincoln Park Zoo is working with individually trafficked animals. 272 animals to be exact, over a 25 year period of time that we've taken custody of. Animals that have originated from confiscations by US Fish and Wildlife Service at O'Hare International Airport. Now, I can't stress enough how Lincoln Park Zoo is very proud to be a partner in caring for Seas Wildlife. But again, like any problem, we like to tackle it from multiple fronts. At Lincoln Park Zoo, we care for the critically endangered Eastern Black Rhino. Critically endangered largely due to poaching simply because of the rhino horn, which is used in that illegal traditional medicine trade. But in the multiple facets of caring for that species here at the zoo, we oftentimes end up with shed sections of rhino horn which we will then donate to the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service for the Wildlife Detection Dog Program. The Lincoln Park Zoo and the United States Fish and Wildlife Service have forged a long-standing and fruitful relationship, united by a shared commitment to conservation. Together, we celebrate or we collaborate on a variety of initiatives, including the launch of the O'Hare International Wildlife Trafficking Exhibit and the crucial training of canine units to detect rhino horn, legal commodity talked about already on the black market. In a testament to its dedication to rhino conservation, the Lincoln Park Zoo generously donates rhino horn to the service, enabling the training of canine units to effectively identify and intercept this illegally traded product. The illegal trade of rhino horn poses a grave threat to rhino populations worldwide, and the service is proud to stand with the Lincoln Park Zoo in combating this illicit activity. 
This collaboration exemplifies the power of partnerships between qualified animal care facilities and government agencies in the fight to combat illegal wildlife trafficking. Now please witness the effectiveness of this partnership firsthand as wildlife inspector, canine handler Amanda Dixon and her partner, Beans, demonstrate their expertise in detecting rhino horn concealed within shipping boxes.